Hi, my name is Hannah Barrett, or maybe you know me as Yoga Girl London, and I'm doing today an anxiety flow with you. So oh, our world is constantly moving. I don't know if you're like me, but my mind is constantly going 100 miles an hour. And this is the kind of flow that helps to ground me, to calm me, to trigger that parasympathetic nervous system, system our rest and digest system, to help bring me back to the present. Um, and I really, really hope you love it. We're going to move a bit, but then we're going to have some restorative poses at the end. So we'll work up a little bit of a sweat with some grounding, some fun flowing poses, and then we'll start to relax towards the end. So we're going to start in child's pose. If you can bring your knees wide, um, you can grab a bolster or a pillow or something underneath you if that feels good and just lie your body forward, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the lower back. Maybe have a little sway side to side, close your eyes, have a little check in. Notice how your body is feeling. Notice where you're holding tension. Notice where maybe where your mind is going. Then slowly start to bring the focus to the breath. Inhale, feel, fill the stomach, fill the chest all the way up to the collarbones and exhale, slowly release. Inhale. Exhale, release. As you inhale, bring your focus to the ribs on the back of your body and breathe them up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release. Continue to breathe, continue to deepen the breath. Each breath is an opportunity to deepen it a little bit more. Notice maybe how You've been holding your breath a bit. I know when I'm stressed, I really shallow breathe and it's not until I bring my focus into breathing deeply that I notice how tense I am in my body. Inhale. And exhale, release. Next, inhale. You're gonna tiptoe your fingers over towards the left-hand side. Your right hand pushes on top of the left, breathing into the right side body all the way from the hips out through the right fingertips. Inhale, brings you back to center. And exhale, takes you to the opposite side. Left hand pushes onto right, breathe into that left side body. Breathe into the ribs, open the ribs. Inhale, brings you back to center. Bring your palms together into prayer and take that prayer behind your head. And set a little intention for your practice, even if it's just to stay present for the next 15 minutes or so. This time is for you. Stay here now. Be present in this room. Exhale, drop the hands and inhale, brings you up into all fours. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, breathing the heart forward and exhale, rounding back. Then maybe start to bring some movement into your cat cow, maybe taking circles, maybe taking figures of eights. Again, notice how your body's feeling. Notice what you need today. Notice where you're holding tension. Breathe into those parts of the body, maybe changing direction if you're taking circles. Just for a moment more. One more inhale, one more exhale and coming back to center. Find your strength in your tabletop, push your hands into the ground, lift the core. So lifting your navel to your spine, lifting the pelvic floor. As you inhale, lift your right arm, lift your left leg. Imagine I'm pulling your fingertips, your toes in opposite directions. Keep the core strong, keep the left hand pushing down. Bend into the left knee, take the hand behind you, kick one into the other, lifting the chest. Then what I want you to try and do here is let go of the foot. So the hand's still reaching back, but you're not actually touching. You're using your strength to stretch. Exhale, bring the right hand down, extend the left leg and inhale, lift the left arm high, coming into a modified side plank. Again, strong core and that right hand is really firmly pushing into the ground. Again, bend into the left knee, take hold of the top of the foot, pushing one into the other, open the heart. Again, breathing here, let go, use your strength. Still feel that opening, but you're not holding on anymore. 
Exhale, slowly drop the knee. Inhale, your left arm comes forward, your right leg comes back. We've moved to the opposite side. Again, imagine I'm pulling your fingertips, your toes. Keep the pelvis nice and stable. Keep the core strong. Bend the leg, take the arm back, kicking one into the other. Breathe the heart forward. Keep hugging the core in, keep that engagement. Let go of the foot. Breathing here, lifting up. If your foot goes back, that's fine. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters how it feels. Exhale, drop the left hand, extend the leg, lift the right arm. Breathing here, pushing into that left arm, core strong. Kick the foot back towards you, kicking one into the other, lift the heart. Breathe up and again, let go. Drawing one towards the other, holding here three, two, one, slowly drop the knee. Arm comes forward, then arm comes down. Tuck the toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, swing the hips. Move how you need to move. Notice where you're holding tension, breathe into it. Then find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Draw the heels down, push firmly through the hands. Hug your elbows in. Notice how that stabilizes your shoulders. Externally rotating the upper arms and lift the sit bones towards the ceiling. We're gonna go straight ahead and flow. Inhale, lift the right leg high, bend the knee, open the hip. Rolling the hip open, but squaring through the shoulders. Moving here. Inhale, step the foot forward, coming onto the back knee. Inhale, lift the arms high. Squeeze the back glute, lift the chest. Drawing the hips down, but drawing the fingers up, opening the heart. Exhale, your left arm comes down, tuck the back toes, coming into a twist. Right fingertips up, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. As you exhale, drop the right hand, step back, plank pose. Lowering first, knees, chest, chin, elbows in towards the waist. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, tucking the toes, navel to spine, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises, bend the knee, open the hip, squaring through the shoulders, keep that core engagement. Keep breathing, keep extending the spine. Exhale, step the foot forward, coming onto the back knee. Inhale, lift you up. Squeeze that right glute, draw the hips down, draw the heart up. Again, a feeling of squeeze of the inner thighs towards each other stabilizes the pelvis. Exhale, bring your right hand down, tuck the back toes, lift the left fingertips high, twist. Breathe here. Inner thighs squeeze in. Core strong, exhale, drop the hands, step back, plank. Maybe this time you lower the knees, maybe this time you lower full chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, open the heart, lifting up, upward facing dog. Exhale, navel to spine, hips to the sky. Inhale, right leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, step the foot forward and inhale, coming up, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So your back foot's grounded down 45 degrees. Your front knee is over the ankle. As you exhale, you're gonna take it to the back of the mat. So your left toes come forward, your back foot goes parallel, warrior three, warrior two even. Focus on the feet, push down through the feet, lift the arches, energize the legs. Windmill the hands, frame the foot, step back plank. Lower elbows in, core strong. Inhale, open the heart, push the hands into the ground, squeeze the bum. Exhale, navel to spine, hips to the sky. Inhale, left leg rises, bend the knee, open the hip. Hopefully you can feel the fire building in your body, the heat building. Exhale, step the foot forward. Inhale, lift you up, warrior one. Back foot grounded. Squaring through the hips, you can have your heels on railroad tracks if you need. That's absolutely fine. Exhale again, taking yourself back to the other side, facing back to the front of the room, warrior two. Imagine I'm pulling your fingertips in opposite directions. Windmill the hands, frame the front foot, step back plank. Lowering down, lower the knees if you need to, taking the chin and the chest all the way down. Inhale, opening up, rolling the shoulders back. 
Exhale, hips to the sky. Drop the knees, slowly tiptoe the hands forward as you breathe the chest down, push into the hands, taking a moment, hugging navel to spine, squeezing the shoulder blades together and down, opening the upper spine, the thoracic spine. Inhale, slowly tiptoe the hands back, tuck the toes, returning downward facing dog. Building on from that flow. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step the foot forward. And inhale, brings you up, warrior one. Square the hips, gaze is up. Take a breath here, feel strong in your core. And as you exhale, turn the feet, left toes forward, right foot parallel to the back of the mat, or your new back of the mat. From here, inhale, lengthen the body forward, bring the left fingertips down, rising up half moon, lifting that right leg, energize through the leg. I don't mind, point the toes or flex the foot, just send energy through the leg. Open the right shoulder, open the right hip. As you exhale, slowly, mindfully drop the back foot. That wasn't very dainty, but you know what I mean. Sitting back, skandhasana, so bending into that right knee, straightening that left leg. Take it across to the other side. Then you're gonna frame the foot, kick back. Three-legged dog, maybe taking a three-legged vinyasa, maybe dropping the knees, maybe going to child's pose. This is your practice. Do what your body feels like it wants. Inhale, lift the left leg high, bend the knee, open the hip. As you exhale, you're gonna step the foot forward and inhale, lift you up, warrior one. Gaze comes up core strong, exhale, open it out, warrior two, opposite side of the room, ground down through the feet, energize the legs, inhale, tips you forward, right fingertips come down, lifting the left leg, opening through into your Ardha Trandasana, your half moon pose, left shoulder opens, left hip opens, exhale, slowly, mindfully dropping that left foot, sitting down into your side squat. Feel a lift, feel strength here. Take it over, right hand side. Frame the foot, kick back, three-legged plank. Again, maybe coming into child's pose or maybe taking your vinyasa, yogi's choice. Exhale, hips to the sky. Keep drawing the sit bones up, lengthening through the chest. Inhale, lift your right leg high. We're gonna start to slow down now. Exhale, step that right foot, the outside of your right hand, drop your knee. Inhale, find length in the spine. Either stay here or maybe come down onto your forearms. Maybe even tuck your back foot, lifting the knee. Lizard pose. One of my favorite poses to have a little movement in. Breathing here. Lengthening through the spine, pushing into the forearms or the hands. Exhale, drop the knee, coming onto the hands if that's where you need to go. Then take the right foot over. We're coming into pigeon pose. You can grab a block and place it under your right hip if you need to. Your right foot is flexed, your hips are nice and square. Ground down through your legs so you can lift your arms and exhale slowly. Melt down onto your mat, close your eyes. Taking five slow, nourishing breaths here. Each time your mind wanders, each time you think of a worry, let it go. Maybe give it a, give it a label, a label of worry or to do or whatever it is, and then just let it go. Again, this time here is for you. Stay here in this room. Inhale, brings you all the way up. You're gonna take this left leg, bring it all the way round, and you're gonna wrap it over the top. So you're gonna stack your knees coming into cow face pose. If this is too much, you can straighten this right leg and just have the left leg bent on top. Bring your left arm up and over, take hold of the elbow, or take your hands behind your back, clasping the hands, opening through the chest. Either you stay here, or maybe you start to fold forwards. This can be quite an intense pose. So take it easy. Again, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it matters how it feels in your body. 
breathe into those areas which feel tight. Use your breath, let it help you. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Release the hands, release the feet. Bring them down onto the mat and come into a little yogi squat. Feet at 45 degrees, again, grounding in, down into the mat, feeling a lift, pushing the arms into the legs, the legs into the arms, hands to heart center. Exhale, you're gonna plant your hands, slowly step back through your plank. Take it straight up, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises. You're gonna step that left foot to the outside of your left hand, coming onto the back knee, then bringing yourself down back into your lizard. Again, maybe tucking the toes if that's where you feel like you need to go today. Notice how this side probably feels different from the last. Breathing here, keep finding length in your spine. Maybe a little movement if that's what feels good. Exhale, drop the knees, coming back onto the hands. And everyone meeting in pigeon pose, flexing into that left foot again, block as an option. Inhale, lifting, pushing down through the legs, lifting the hands. Exhale, folding forwards, close the eyes, come back to your breath. Use it to help you maybe count your breath. Each time your mind wanders, it's fine, it's okay. Be kind to yourself, just bring it back. That is mindfulness. Next, inhale, brings you all the way up. Again, taking that leg all the way over the top, stacking the knees, lifting the hips, help you do so if you need it. Sit between the ankles. Again, left leg can be straightened if you need to. Right arm comes up and over, either taking the elbow, taking the hands behind the back. Inhale, find length. And exhale, maybe folding. Closing the eyes, noticing the sensations in your body. Send your breath to your hip. Inhale, slowly coming up. Releasing the hands, releasing the legs, taking a little windmill from side to side, and grabbing a block. And you're gonna make your way down onto the mat. Holding onto your legs if you need to, we're gonna roll down. So you're gonna hug your navel to spine, rounding the back, rolling for five, four, three, two, and one. Releasing down. So bring your heels in towards your body. Grab the block. This is one of my favorite restorative poses. You're gonna lift up and you're either gonna put the block this way or this way. You're gonna place it underneath your sacrum, that flat bony part at the bottom of your spine. And you wanna feel like you're melting over the block. There should be no effort here. It should feel really relaxed. So if you feel that effort, then take it down a little bit. And start to absorb that practice. You've gone from that kind of fiery flow and now everything exhausts. Hopefully now it's easier to start to quieten your mind. Keep breathing. Let go. Your mind will wonder and that's fine, just keep bringing it back. Be aware when it wanders. Next, inhale, gently push into the feet. Lift the hip, remove the block. Bring your feet, your soles of your feet together into a diamond, a wide diamond or a short diamond, whatever feels good. If this is too intense on the hips, you can grab blocks either side and place them underneath the thighs. If this just doesn't feel good for you, then another option is to bring your feet mat distance apart and let the knees come in. You're gonna stay here for a few breaths. You're gonna bring one hand onto your belly and one hand onto your heart. And you're gonna breathe into your hands, coming back as we did at the beginning to lengthening the breath but this time try and count it. 
So we're going to inhale to a count of four and exhale to a count of eight. We'll do the first couple with you. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Continuing. Time your mind wanders, bring it back. Use that counting to help ground you, to help keep you in the present. Slowly start to bring some movement in your body. Straightening. Or bringing the knees actually in towards you. Having a little hug. A little sway from side to side. Then ground your left foot down. Link the right leg over the top. Taking the knees over to the left. Taking your gaze over to the right. Keep the eyes closed. Keep the focus on your breath. Inhale, coming to center, switching the cross. Right foot comes down, left foot comes over. Knees over to the right. Gaze over to the left. Inhale, through center. One last hug before you make your way into our final pose, Shavasana. Heels, outer edges of the mat, palms facing up, fingers curl in naturally. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go through the mouth. And as you inhale, find some acceptance, find some kindness to yourself. And as you exhale, let something go that you do not need. Whether you have time to stay here for two minutes or 20 minutes, take some time to rest nourish your body. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you really enjoyed that. My name is Hannah and see you on the mats again soon.